Continue to follow our breaking news this morning from Prince George's County. An officer being shot. We want to get you back to Scott Broom, who is live near the scene. Scott. Okay, uh, in a series of tweets now, which is how the police chief at the moment is communicating because he's dealing with the fallen officer's family. Uh, here is the latest information. These are quotes from Police Chief Hank Skowinski here in Prince George's County. With broken hearts, we are announcing that one of our officers was shot and killed today. The brave officer was shot while stepping in to protect a woman threatened in a domestic situation. Please keep his family and our department in your prayers. And that incident uh, happening in a commercial area at the intersection of Crane Highway uh, and uh, Chad's Ford in the Brandywine area. A chase ensued. It ended here in Fort Washington. Uh, he is also saying as to this location here in Fort Washington, the suspect who killed our officer was shot and killed by responding law enforcement. That's the scene where I am right now. I'm going to again step behind the camera to give you a closer look uh, in case you're just joining us. So uh, the suspect in this incident shot and killed uh, here at the intersection of Old Fort and Indian Head Highway, uh, we believe, based on what we can see here, that the suspect was in a black SUV that's in a left turn lane up there that was headed northbound. And it's also apparent here that there was a confrontation, uh, an intercept with officers. There are, there are police, police cars that were uh, crisscrossed across these lanes as if to block this individual. And then the fatal confrontation with him uh, started here or ended here, my apologies, uh, at Route 210 and Old Fort. So uh, just an incredibly uh, tragic moment for the Prince George's County Police Department. An officer about eight, nine miles from here in Brandywine confronting an individual, stepping in, in the words of Chief Hank Stowinski, to protect a woman in some kind of domestic violence situation that was occurring uh, in, in a commercial area at the intersection of Chad's Ford and, and Crane Highway. There was gunfire, the police officer uh, died at the scene, uh, and uh, then a chase ensued. Now, what I can see here uh, is uh, uh, police vehicles from all kinds of jurisdictions, not just Prince George's County, but also Charles County, apparently responding north up 210 and north up Crane Highway uh, because this happened very close to the county line and a number of other police officers. Uh, it, this chase obviously went on for quite some time before it ended here with the apparent uh, intercept or blocking of this vehicle the door hanging open and apparently a fatal shooting uh, right there in the center of the frame where you may be able to see that black SUV. Again, a tragic day here in Prince George's County. The investigation is still unfolding. Lots of details have yet to come out. Identities of the people involved have not been released. Uh, just an awful day here. Reporting live in, uh, at, uh, in Fort Washington, Old Fort Road and um, Route 210, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. All right, Scott. Um, and again, Scott has told us that uh, we shouldn't expect to hear directly from the Prince George's County Police Chief Hank Stowinski because, of course, their focus now is on that slain officer's family and dealing with them. Again, if you're just joining us, it is about 1225 in the afternoon. We've been covering our breaking news story of a police shooting this morning. It happened uh, in uh, around 1030 this morning at Chadsford Road in Chadsley Lane in Brandywine. And as you heard Scott say, it ended after a chase along Route 210 and Old Fort Road in Fort Washington. These are live pictures from the scene. What we're hearing from uh, tweets sent out by police uh, sources that the officer was killed while stepping in to protect a woman in a domestic incident. This happened in a commercial area and then apparently some sort of chase ensued and the suspect was shot and killed by responding officers in the area of Old Fort and Indian Head Highway. Let's go back to Scott and find out what else he's learned. Scott? Well, I haven't learned a whole lot more, but a couple of observations. Uh, domestic violence in Prince George's County has been a key focus of both the police department uh, and the prosecutors here in Prince George's County and the sheriff's department, uh, which does a lot of family uh, violence work and, and warrant service in a pretty tense domestic and family violence situation. It's uh, been a number of tragedies in the past two years. I, ha I haven't counted them, uh, but it's an intense focus with officers and the department on orders 
uh, to uh, confront the issue, do their best to stop it, and that's apparently what was going on in this incident. We don't have details about how the officer may have come in contact with whatever conflict was going on between a suspect and a, and a woman in what appeared to be sort of a gas station area, uh, but p police were involved. Uh, and uh, uh, there was a, a shooting, and uh, the, he, he fled some distance uh, in a chase. One of the other observations here is that uh, there were a lot of tactical officers on the scene, and perhaps uh, this took that much time to unfold that the tactical uh, individuals were able to be uh, involved as well. Behind me here, the scene is where this ended. There's a black SUV up there, and uh, that is apparently where the suspect was finally stopped, apparently intercepted by police vehicles and a shooting that ended it. Reporting live, Scott Broom, WUSA 9, back to you. Continue to follow this story from Prince George's County where a police officer lost his life trying to protect, stepping in to protect a woman involved in a domestic incident. We'll have the very latest on our mobile app and at WUSA9.com.